pants. What would I have pants on for? That's what this robe is for. With flare away pants? Probably not. <laughs> pants. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Marty from Jazz and Marty. And let me tell you a little something about yours truly. I'm an avid pro wrestling fan, baby. And one of my favorite pro wrestlers of all time is none other than the Nature Boy Ric Flair. So here's a few things that you need to know about Nature Boy Ric Flair. He's known as the greatest wrestler of all time. He wears luxurious robes to the ring. And he liked to name his junk after Disneyland attractions. So today, what we're gonna to attempt to do is we're gonna try and make a flare robe, but using a bath robe instead. So without any further ado, let's just hop into it real quick. Hey Jazz, I got five minutes. You wanna get in the fast pass to Space Mountain? And by Space Mountain, I mean my... Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. A tape measure, toothpicks, painter's tape, a buttload of uh, these craft gems, Two tablecloths, I got a sequence one and a fancy schmancy looking one. Scissors, tweezers, Marge Podge, a pen, a mirrored image of the Nature Boy logo. Now this is optional, but whatever logo you use for the back of yours, just make sure it's 12 inches wide. And last but not least, a robe. I got this Alexander De La Rosa robe from Amazon. And that's about it. Let's hop into this thing. Okay, first you wanna take your tape measure and you wanna measure the top of the shoulder all the way down to the bottom of your robe. Mine's turned out to be 53 and a half inches long. Now with that knowledge, you wanna cut eight 53 and a half inch long strips out of your sequence tablecloth. I figured that I wanted my strips to be about three and a half inches wide so i'm going to cut eight 53 and a half inch long three inch wide strips out of the sequin tablecloth you can use your painter's tape to hold the tablecloth down and use your pen to draw on the painter's tape so you won't mark up your fabric so i end up cutting two extra strips for good measure so 10 strips in total next you want to take your fancy tablecloth and you want to cut 21 half inch strips out of this. This tablecloth is about 80 inches long, so I'm gonna cut 21 half inch wide, 80 inch long strips out of it. All right, here we go. Okay, next you wanna grab two pieces of your sequin fabric and you wanna take your scissors and cut off the rough edge up the top of one and then glue your fabric together. Next, you want to take two of your half inch strips and glue them to your sequin strip. This will act as your collar and the trim underneath the collar. Okay, next you want to take your fabric and you want to glue it around a collar. You should have something that looks like this. Make sure you glue it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, next you want to take your sequin strip and you want to fold it over and glue it together. Once that glue is dry, you want to take your half inch strips and you want to glue it right along the side edge of your sequin strip. You need about seven of these. Okay, real quick y'all, you may have to cut extra strips. And side note, this is taking me two weeks to do. So instead of going step by step of what I've done over the past two weeks, I'm just going to summarize it really quickly in the next clip. Use what I showed you in the previous clip to kind of fuel your imagination to do your own thing. Because remember, this is your own robe. You can do with it how you like. All right, let's go check it out. So here's what I did. I took my folded strips and I glued them across the entire front of the robe. Uh, from the top all the way to the bottom. And here's what the bottom looks like. If you have some excess on the bottom, you can just cut it off and then fold it over and glue it like this. I did the exact same thing across the back, except I used only the two half strips from the top to the bottom. Once I got down to the bottom, I cut one of my half strips in half and then glued that at the waist mark all the way down to the bottom of my robe. Then I cut an extra piece of fabric out of my sequence tablecloth and just kind of glued that across the waist band of the robe. As far as the sleeves go, I had some extra clippings just lying around, 
So I lined that around the uh, cuffs of the rope. Now, like I said before, this is your thing. You don't have to do it like this. This is just how I did it. But just FYI, you may have to cut more strips depending on your height and what you're looking to do and all that good stuff. All right, now let's hop into gluing these craft gems on. Okay, next, to add the craft gems, you're going to take your tweezer and you're going to pick the craft gem up with your tweezer. Then you're going to take your toothpick, dip it in the glue so you can add a, just a little bit amount on the back of your craft gem. And then you can just go ahead and place it on. And if you're having trouble getting it off of your uh, tweezers, just go ahead and use the toothpick to hold it down. And boom, there you go. And voila, now you can glue these craft gems on in any type of pattern that you like. I will show you the back, but I'm going to save that for the, you know, the grand reveal or whatever. Next, I'm going to hop into showing you how I made the Nature Boy logo on the back. So, let's get into it. Finally, I took my scissors and I cut out the Nature Boy logo from the printout I made earlier. Then, I grabbed my craft gems and I glued them down kind of following the pattern of the logo. Finally, all you have to do is just add your craft gems to the back of your rope and you're pretty much done. Now let's take a look at the finished product. Wait, 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 wait. This aisle ain't big enough. So let's go find a bigger aisle so we can really show this bad boy off. Now give me something smooth to strut to. Perfect. Perfect. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel where we always posting updates on DIY and craft videos. And like that, this will be the end. Peace.